Some properties are just not financeable. And I'm going to show you how to take that and turn it to your advantage. Lorenzo, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And, folks, uh, new viewers to Holton Wise TV, we got a lot of stuff going on here. The main thing we want to do, our number one mission is to create a following of educated real estate investor, various shows uh, ranging from tenants from hell to landlords from hell to buying and selling properties, everything in between in relation to real estate, house flipping, the whole nine, okay? This show is a show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? I work with you guys. You go to HoltonHeist.com and you click the property search for sale tab and you order MLS search and analysis packages like this one, and I work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you buy properties, okay? There's 5,000 real estate agents in the Cleveland market, <clears throat> and the majority of them do not focus on investment real estate. I do. That's all I do, as a matter of fact, okay? We're running a management portfolio valued over $50 million, thousands of tenants. We can handle everything for you guys top to bottom, including insurance, title, property management, the whole nine, but it starts with education, right? And my dude, Lorenzo, man, we are working together. This is the third video me and you have done, okay? Now, the previous two videos, the first video was a property in, uh, I think it was Cleveland Heights. You had it under contract. You were actually flew to Cleveland. You met a realtor. She drove you all around. You liked her quite a bit, but it turned out she wasn't really well-versed in uh, real estate investing, right? She was more used to the traditional real estate aspects. You guys will find that. So you wanted to get my opinion on your property as well. Turns out that deal was a dud, didn't make any money. We denied that one. We didn't do that deal. Then I found you a deal similar to that because you said you wanted a high-quality neighborhood. Turns out you wanted to go a different direction after that. After you looked at a couple higher-cost properties, you were like, yo, man, let's get some more cash flow. You're interested in more cash flow. So I had talked to you uh, about this Painesville area, and you actually looked up this property online. Uh, and you talked to the listing agent, and you like this property, so I wanted to do this one for you because this one is totally different, totally different. Like we were going this way before when I met you. Now we're going to go this way. This is going to be a pure cash flow play, and this property is not going to be financeable in my opinion, right? This is going to be a deal you're going to have to take down cash because there's some things going on with this property. One thing that I noticed, and then another that you found out while you were actually having conversations with the listing agent listed by a company called Howard Hanna listed 64 days ago so two months for a hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred so in this little area called Painesville 790 West Jackson Street Painesville I love Painesville for cash flow guys this is a really nice area I would position the rental properties that we're gonna be looking at here on the show in Painesville as B class rentals but the cool thing with Painesville is there's actually like wealthy areas, wealthy rural areas. You see a lot of new developments out there, right? So you could be in Painesville and easily see like four or five hundred thousand dollar houses, but that's, that's not what we're looking at. They're, those aren't going cash flow, right? Those are owner occupied type stuff. But there is a lot of rental properties in Painesville. It's a it's a small town. It's a county over from Cuyahoga County. Holton Wise, uh, we are located in Cleveland, Ohio. We're technically across the street in an inner ring suburb called Parma, right? But for all intents and purposes, we are actually in Cleveland, Ohio, which is in the county called Cuyahoga County. We will manage anything in Cuyahoga County as well as all the counties that touch Cuyahoga County in Northeast Ohio, one of which is Lake County, which is where Painesville is in. What I want you guys to do, though, because transparency is my number one thing, I want you to go to the holdingwise.com, click our FAC, check out our property management FAC. When we do manage a property for you that's outside of Cuyahoga County, there will be surcharges involved when we actually have to physically go on site to the property because it's, it's far, right? It's a far drive. It costs me money. I got to pay the dude driving. I got to put gas in the car. You get it, right? So check those out for uh, all that info. But... 
Taxes are lower in this area, and I think uh, the prices are lower than what you're seeing in Cuyahoga County compared to like what you're getting, right? So all things look good. And this particular property, it's actually two homes, okay? Two homes on one lot. Now you see, we don't have a concrete driveway. It's kind of like a gravel looking thing. This is like a rural type area, small town feel here. So it's not a big deal. Cool thing about the small town feel, right? Like you guys know I get a little political at times, right? I got the 100% American, 0% socialist sign over here. I got, uh, you know, our government officials. I got my boy Trump, my big dog. And then I got Bernie Sanders and AOC with uh, the uh, communist stickers on them. You know what I'm saying? So I get a little uh, political. Not going to try to get off into a political tangent with you right now. But the thing is, like, Rural areas, they're typically red, right? They're not really blue, okay? And then when you're in a more red area, guess what? They're a lot more landlord-friendly in housing court, okay? So this is a nice rural area, very landlord-friendly area, and things like gravel driveways are okay, common over there. Now, the front home, that's what you're looking at here, that is vacant, okay? That is currently vacant, when we eventually get a tenant into that front home, they will probably be paying us nine and a quarter. Now, the back home is already occupied at six ten, but market rent for that is eight fifty. So this is why this is a huge cash play, cash cow play for us, right? Seventeen seventy five a month is what I think this property could generate. That's twenty one thousand three hundred a year. Cruising back. Now, as far as getting tenant in here at nine and a quarter, this ain't gonna cut the mustard, right? This is a this is a old dated looking kitchen, right? Now I don't necessarily know if my guys are gonna want to replace all the cabinetry. What they could probably do is just. Uh... Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Honestly, refinish them, repaint them, and replace the hardware with something modern. Replace the countertop, get rid of the old appliances, okay? And then we're going to want to hit everything with gray, agreeable gray paint, white, uh, white trim. Definitely do some work in the bathroom here. Get that looking spiffy, right? Kitchens and baths, guys, they'll sell homes. Maybe a little bit of electrical issues in this house. I'm not 100% sure. It's just when I see exterior electrical right it's outside the wall it's in conduit as opposed to being in the wall that gives me pause that maybe somebody did kind of a hack job so i'm sure my team will look into that okay this furnace is looking pretty good though no worries there okay they last about 30 years so that's good you don't have to worry we got a hot water tank right here Appears to be in good shape. A couple more shots of the backyard. Again, big rural spot, right? Rural community, man. Super landlord friendly. Not a lot of government getting up into your butt as a landlord, okay? So everything sounds pretty dope, right? Everything sounds badass. We're supposed to be getting seventeen seventy-five in rent. Uh, currently, though, the other, the, you know, the smaller home, they're paying a little bit less. They're paying six ten, okay? So now let's get to the catch right because you know everything sounds perfect it sounds amazing but i said that this property is probably not un probably gonna be unfinanceable and there's two reasons to that reason number one there's two houses on one lot okay that is typically uh not what the bank wants to see right it's non-traditional non-conforming okay so you're gonna have a lot of lenders that are gonna shy away from that that alone makes it hard to finance is it gonna be impossible to finance no i've done it before but it's tough uh so you know let's say there's like a hundred lenders right if there's like a hundred lenders out there you know maybe the fact that there's two houses on one lot that takes you down to like 30 lenders that are willing to work with you still and then that leads us to the second issue okay and this is actually what you found out you're talking to the listing agent and she told you in one of these homes there's a bulge in the in the basement wall that's not great it's not necessarily the end of the world but it's not great we don't have enough information to discuss how bad it really is or how much of a problem it is for you. But I will tell you this, right? Number one, I am not an, a, a structural engineer, okay? And I am not a home inspector. But I bought and sold hundreds of millions of dollars worth of properties. You know, I've, you know, I've done it all. I'm very, very versed. We do construction, millions, you know, several million dollars of construction sales every year. Renovated a lot of homes. Here's the deal. 
Sometimes in these old homes, man, you're going to get some shifting and some cracking on the foundation walls. And if you actually need to replace it the 100% by the book correct way, uh, you know, you're looking at, depending on what's going on outside, is it, are you next to concrete, are you next to grass, things of that nature. I mean, you're looking at 150 to $250 a foot, right? Uh, that's how you fix it the 100% by the book way. That's what the bank wants to see. That's what a structural engineer is going to tell you. You ain't going to get a bank or a structural engineer to tell you, like, eh, maybe we'll try it this other way. But, like, what I see people do and, like, other fixes to, like, keep the home, the integrity, the safety of the home, like, you could do, like, big steel beams in the basement. You know, they get drilled into the basement floor. Then they go all the way up. It prevents, like, further shifting, right? Things like that are 100% safe. Is a bank going to want to see that fix versus uh, completely replacing the foundation wall? Probably not. Is a structural engineer going to like sign off on that? Like, yeah, that's totally cool. Probably not because it's not exactly how it should be. So I get, I get a lot of guys that they see these foundation issues and they want to know how bad are they. No one's going to tell you. No one's going to sign off on it like, yo, dude, that's great. The fact that that's Boeing, totally cool. Don't worry about it, right? No one's going to say that because by the book, it's not supposed to do that. But that said, man, I, I've seen a lot of houses where they are bowed like that and, you know, they'll sit like that for like 40, 50 years. You know, there's there's no issue. The house isn't, you know, what I would consider to be dangerous, but it's not by the book. So you as an investor have to analyze that. Like if it's just a little shifting and it shifted like fr friggin' 80 years ago and it hasn't moved since, you got to look at that as an investor. Like, all right, is it worth buying this house? And one day that gets worse and I have to spend the 150 or $250 a foot to fix it, right? Like, I don't want you to think that like one day your house is just going to completely fall over. Uh, not the case when you see a little Boeing. Like your house isn't going to collapse. So there's really no danger. But the, the, the real risk would be like one day you'll have to address it. And, you know, it's going to be very hard for you to get financing, right? So with all of that in mind, Lorenzo, if you try to take this property down, I do not want you to pay $119,900. I would like to see you pay $85,000. The listing agent already told you all the buyers are backing away because of this, right? Because of this foundation issue. So that's a huge deal. So what you need to do is you need to try to work that to your advantage. I want you to try to get a $35,000 discount because of it, right? Because... The buyer pool is going to be so much smaller because we're not working with a lot of buyers that are financing it. And you have that risk out there one day that one day maybe you will need to spend the $150 to $250 a foot to totally redo one of those walls. Do I think you need to do it today? Unlikely. Do I think you need to do it in a couple of years? Probably unlikely. Am I, as a licensed real estate broker, going to stand here on Holton Wise TV and tell you, bro, it's just a little foundation. You don't worry about it. It's all good. No, I'm not going to I'm not going to sign my name to that, right? I think I've done a pretty good job of explaining to you the real world risks and the real world costs. And you know, you as an investor, you're going to have to take it from there. But what I want you to do if you decide to take on that cost, I want you to get paid for it and I want you to get paid for it up front. So that's why I only want to see you spend 85. Now, we got uh, an ugly looking unit that's empty, and then the other unit they're only paying six ten. So I've also calculated in your numbers here a thirty thousand dollar cosmetic renovation. So that would take us to a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars of investment by the time you got yourself to that market rent of one thousand seven hundred seventy five coming in. If you get to that point, I anticipate on a monthly average you spending eight twenty three, leaving you with an NOI of nine fifty two a month or eleven thousand four hundred twenty four dollars a year, which would be right under a ten cap, right? So you're making under ten percent, just under ten percent, right? Basically ten percent return on your money if all goes well and you had to do that big rental. Now here's the other thing, right? About fifteen thousand dollars of that rental budget has to do with the back house and totally renovating that cosmetically when you're ready for a new tenant. You don't necessarily have to do that right away, bro. They're already paying you six ten. You could, you know, collect that six ten a month and then maybe try to go up fifty dollars uh, on their rent at the next lease turnover, $50 again, $50 again. It's no like guarantee you'll actually have to renovate that to get a new tenant in there. You know, you may be able to just continually increase these tenants' rent. So the deal itself is probably actually a little bit better than the numbers I've projected for you. But, you know, I like to uh, give you guys conservative estimates, right? Conservative outlooks on how, how things are going to go down. So that's my thoughts on this deal. It's a unique deal. You're probably going to have to pay cash. Very hard to finance it. 
But again, you could leverage that and try to get a serious discount, right? Try to get $35,000 off the price because I don't know if this particular listing agent has uh, dealt with a lot of homes with like structural defects like that. You know, most of the residential agents that handle only residential stuff, they're in the nicer suburbs, newer housing stock, and they don't see things like this and they don't deal with a lot of cash buyers. So, you know, this seller and that agent, they may find it's a lot harder to convince somebody to pony over the dough with an issue like that. So that's where you could possibly step in and get yourself a nice cash flow on property, bro, because 17 75 a month is nothing to sneeze at. So let me know, Lorenzo. We've done three videos together now, and... Uh, you know, again, we started off on one path with some properties uh, that you're interested in, that type of property, and we decided to go a completely different route. Um, now you have like a really robust look at uh, the Cleveland market, and you've looked, uh, you know, completely different types of rental properties, pure cash flow plays and pure nice neighborhood, high quality home plays. So it's up to you to, to make the decision on what you want to do. If you want my team to write the offer for you, totally cool. Reply uh, to this email and uh, we will get that going. We will try to negotiate that down for you. If this one also doesn't work for you, uh, just let me know what type of changes you'd like to make. And now that you've seen me talk to you about like two totally different types of things i think you have like a lot more information to really know what it is exactly that you want because you know you know more about the market you've seen a lot of stuff now and maybe on the next set of videos you know we'll change gears again but we're close brother we'll get you a property i i think we're very very close we've just you know we had to make some adjustments to to both uh your expectations and also to your expectations of cost. Like a couple of times you did some numbers and uh, when I did the numbers for you, it turns out that the cost of ownership, the cost to maintain these properties was actually higher than you're anticipating. Uh, but that's great, bro. That's why people buy the packages, right? That's why you pony over a few hundred dollars to me so I can really, you know, break the investment down for you. It's so much better to spend a few hundred dollars doing your due diligence on me than what you almost did, which was dropping $165,000 and then realizing down the road you got a cash flow negative property, right? So that's why these sell well, and that's why I'm glad you made the diligent, diligent decision to work with me. So let me know, Lorenzo. Let's knock it out, everybody else, if you want to work with me like this. Again, holdenwise.com, property search for sale tab, order yourself some MLS search and analysis packages today. If you're not ready, I almost dropped my pen, to invest just yet, you just want to learn, just do yourself a solid and smash the subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business for property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Remora here, 
your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.